Hola senors and senoritas and welcome to Porta Ventura World Resort in Salou, Spain. Go. 20 minute wait in the summer, that is not bad. Let's do this. So, this is not actually my first visit to Port Ventura. I came here around five, six years ago, and obviously, I was a little boy. I have no idea where I'm going. So, yeah, I came here about five to six years ago, but obviously, I was too small to go on any of the coasters. And now, James is also told us to. From the coasters, so this is going to be my first reaction to Shambhala, Furious Bako, Dragon Khan, everything like that. I was a baby when I came here. Let's do this, Shambhala. Sin memoriales, los más grandes exploradores habían intentado llegar, pero sin conseguirlo. Nadie había nunca desvelado el misterio de Shambhala. coraje y una gran fuerza. Ahora eres uno de los elegidos. En el futuro llegarán muchos otros con el empeño de querer vivir esta experiencia legendaria. Pero cuidado, solo el que esté a la altura podrá cruzar la puerta milenaria de Shambhala. Shambhala. Ala, ala, ala. Oh my god. I have just had my first ride on Shambhala. And it was on the front row. And it was also the 50th coaster I have ever ridden. And oh my god, was that packed of airtime. Here it comes through the splashdown. Oh. But it was fantastic. BM Hyper, you can't complain. The problem is, I don't know if it's better than Hyper. I don't know if I prefer the Mac or the B&M, but it was incredible, and I can't even speak it was that good. <laughs> I'm dying. But you can also get like an on-ride video, but it's edited in this thing, that's what you just saw before. And it was absolutely incredible. Definitely worth coming down into Port Ventura to ride it. That might be the only thing I ride today. Oh. I've put it at number one currently also. Do you like my super cool shades? Yeah, I've put it 
over hype here at the moment. I've only run it out of the front. I'm gonna get a lot more rides on it in the coming week, back, middle, yeah, whatever. But I've put it over hype here for now. Cause at the end I was literally tearing up. I was crying. It was that good. The heat and the ejector air time is just mad. But I'm not sure if I prefer air time or hang time. But because of me tearing up at the end, I've put it above Hyperia. So for, a, for the moment, Shambhala is my number one coaster. But yeah, that might be the only thing I'm riding today since I, I got up at three in the morning in the UK. My flight was at 7.30. <clears throat> did my flight, got here for lunch, had lunch, unpacked, did all that. And now it's like five, six o'clock, I'm not even sure. And we need rest. So we'll just see what happens. Back closer to the entrance, we have Fury's Mako, the Intervin Hydraulic Launch Wing Rider. Doesn't Shambhala look the coaster in the skyline? Also with Dragon Khan over there. The B and I'm sitting down with the 18 versions. Also got Fiori's Baco. If I shift over here, something I'll probably only be doing once. Hurricane Condor. The 100 meter tall drop tower. I'm not sure what that is in feet. But yeah, it's scary. I just can't believe I'm here to be honest. We're here for a whole week. We're gonna get so many rides in on all the coasters. It's gonna be great, water rides, everything. You need to stay tuned for all the vlogs coming up because I've got plenty. And to not miss them all, go down and subscribe to my channel. Also like this video. Yeah, it's gonna be such a good week. Here we are at the proper entrance to Port of Ventura World. World, I said, yeah, Port of Ventura World. Because this consists of two parts. Porta Ventura and Ferrari Land with Red Force, Europe's tallest and fastest roller coaster, which we will be riding in a future vlog. But look at this fountain here with golden woody woodpecker in the middle. There's the entrance to Ferrari Land. Amazing. 